the Sega Genesis. Not only is this my favorite console of all time, it's also a great two-player console. But did you know it can handle up to four-player gaming as well? Well, turns out it can. Hi guys, Jim here from Drink a Beer Play a Game, and today I'm going to give you a quick guide for four-player gaming on the Sega Genesis Mega Drive. Let's get into it. So when it comes to four-player gaming, you have three options. The first I'm going to talk about is this guy. This is the four-player adapter by EA. What does it do? Well, it works with EA games to give you four-player gaming. It's a piece of plastic. It's pretty simple to use. It eBays for about 10 bucks, And it works with all the EA games that can support four players. Installing it couldn't be any simpler. You get your Sega Genesis Model 1. You get your EA adapter. Plug it into the front, and you are good to go. So while you don't get full compatibility with four-player games, you do get a really good selection. You get games like your Maddens, your NHLs, and even General Chaos. Surprisingly enough, there is a non-EA game, good old Gauntlet 4. So you have tons of options when it comes to gaming. If there's one problem with this guy, it's basically it doesn't work with every multiplayer game. Outside of that, it's a nice cheap option for you, and it plugs easily into the Sega Genesis Model 1 and Model 2. The second way I want to talk about is this guy. This is the Sega Team Player, the official 4-player adapter for the Sega Genesis. What I have here is the Model 2, which comes with two controller port cords. So the Model 1 came with one cord, and it worked with 4-player games that weren't made by EA. It had some compatibility issues. So to fix that, they made this revision number two with both. In the front, you can see the switch here. So when you have controller one plugged in, you can switch between whatever controller cord you're in, A, B, C, or D. Putting it on multi lets you play with all the multiplayer games. And putting it in extra mode lets you play with all the EA games. Honestly, this is your best bet. On eBay, I was able to snag this for about 15 bucks. A good thing is that most sellers don't realize that there's two revisions, so you can probably pick this up for the same price you would spend on a revision one. And honestly, there's no real reason to go for that. If I had to think of an upside and a downside for this, it would be the cables. The cables are nice as they give you extra cable length. They're almost two feet long. The downside, well, depending on your setup, it could look a little goofy, it could get in the way of things, so kind of up to you to figure out how you like it. To me, it's a small price to pay. When it comes to compatibility, you get so many options with this thing. So, some games we talked about before, you get Gauntlet 4, you get General Chaos, you get your Maddens, you get your NHL games, and then you get other cool games, you know, wrestling games like WWF for All. NBA Jam. And for me, honestly, the best reason to get this. Mega Bomberman. Yep, there is a Bomberman game on the Genesis, and with this adapter, you and four friends can go to town. This is what I would highly recommend. And remember, get the Model 2. And that leaves us with one way left to get four-player gaming out of your Sega Genesis. The last way I want to show you is this. This is Pete Sampras Tennis. This is a J-Cart, and this has two controller ports built in. J-Carts were exclusive to games published by Codemasters late in the Genesis lifecycle. Only six games supported it, but in North America, this is all we got. So, the upside. You're not buying any extra pieces. The downside. This is the only game you can play like this. Well, if you're like me. So, if you're around the world and you can get your hands on those cool Micro Machines games, go to town. You can get this on eBay card only for probably the $5 to $10 range. And if you want to get it complete, it's like 20 bucks. so screw that. I got it with the box, so it was like 12 which isn't bad. It's an okay game, but I probably wouldn't recommend going out and getting this outside of, you know, collectors. Well, guys, that'll do it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please make sure to give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, and better yet, subscribe. Did you guys play any four-player games on the Genesis? And if so, what are your favorites? Let us know below. You know we love talking to you. Until next time, guys. Cheers.